I love the Binding of Isaac. Isaac is about a little boy who fights with his tears. In Isaac, you are a child who lives with his mother. His parents are divorced due to uh, religious differences between the two. Uh, you know, uh, Isaac's father believed in science, was an alcoholic, and seemed pretty fucked up in the head. And uh, Isaac's mother is a pilled up lady who preaches the word of God and is completely Isaac! fucking nuts. So Isaac is pretty much the average American household. Isaac uses art to vent his frustration with the world, and his mother is uh, very against it and believes Isaac is like the spawn of Satan or something. Then when an angelic voice speaks to his mother telling him that Isaac must be made a sacrifice, Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. She listens. Isaac scrambles as he sees his mother come at him with a knife, so he thrusts himself into the basement starting the game. This game is intense. Made by Edmund McMillan, a man who basically dedicated his life to making fucked up shit, every design in this game adds to the atmosphere of putrid, gory, immature, edgy shit. Isaac was originally a smaller project that was just made for a game jam for a roguelike based off of Zelda. But after its success on Newgrounds, Edmund decided to work on it as a fully fledged project. It's a roguelike. The daddy roguelike. This game inspired the onslaught of roguelikes that we have today. In the game, you get different items, which usually maybe have cool effects, and there are hundreds of them. 716 to be exact. Each one transforms Isaac into new beautiful styles. Just uh, tell him he looks pretty, he has uh, self-image issues. There's a boss at the end of every floor, and once you beat it, you get to move on to the next. Each of these floors are very unique. Some examples are basement and uh, catacombs and uh depths wasn't there oh yeah and then your mother's uterus heaven hell a chest and of course the burning basement it all seems pretty fucked up but uh isaac isn't actually experiencing all this this is his delusions He's trapped himself in, in one of his old toy boxes, and his mother isn't actually trying to kill him, but the game that you're playing is what Isaac imagines before he dies. When you start the game, you have several different characters to choose from. Each character is pretty unique, uh, kinda. I mean, each character does have their own general idea to them, but it's not until you unlock the tainted characters that they get run changing. Many of these characters are a lot of fun, uh, except a few that aren't, but that's, that's okay. Speaking of the characters changing each run, the 716 items are definitely going to be changing up your run. This is the main way that the game will spice it up. Sometimes you're running a full HP build where your defense is steel and you're able to make constant sacrifices to quickly snowball your run. Sometimes you have minions that are running around draining your enemies. Sometimes you just kind of like fucking suck. Like uh, here's your mom's bra and a bottle of pills. I wish you luck. The variety in the items and all the different ways certain items interact with each other is the main driving point in Isaac. These items are the peanut butter in a peanut butter and bread sandwich. Isaac makes sure there's plenty of ways to obtain these items. I already mentioned sacrificing yourself, but you can also not take damage to get deals with the devil or angel for typically stronger items. You can play the casino and earn yourself consumables such as bombs, keys, and coins. If you obtain a lot of consumables, you can find yourself the secret rooms of each floor, which have chances for good items. You can explode a lot of the background to find small rewards that can add up to being able to afford that really good item in the shop. You can find a dice room that re-rolls all the drops on the floor, leaving a bunch of garbage pennies and hearts on the ground, turning them into chests that could drop an item. If you feel like the game is fucking you with bad items, you better be scraping the walls for every last opportunity. Because if you don't, then it's your fault, not the game's. The worst part about all these cool items is when you start a new run, now you're bored as hell because you're normal again. Isaac's replayability is what makes it truly stand out. I'm currently sitting at 801 hours of writing this script, and I'm sure it's more because I've played it on the Xbox and old computers with old accounts, and I only have 75% of the achievements. I can still sit down and have a run that makes me play completely differently every single time though.
Isaac, what are you drawing? Isaac, let me see it. Give it to me now. This is what you think of me? This is what I am to you? A monster? No, no, Mom, I'm just... After all I've done for you, this is how you view me? You think I'm a monster, Isaac? I'll show you a monster! No, 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 please! You are just like your father. I can't even look at you. And instead of looking inside herself to ask why her son would think like this, she blames it on society and his father. So she takes away everything from him to try to, you know, rid him of sin. So Isaac is launched into his closet and he finds comfort in his toy box. His mother believes Isaac is missing at first and looks for him everywhere until she goes into the room with the chest and finds her son's remains. It's gritty and it's dark, but Edmund McMillan is a master of this type of story. And when I had spent so much time with this game, when I reached the ending, I, I cried. I've played Isaac since a young kid myself, my first memory being in about fourth grade. The story hadn't been fleshed out then. It, it took until the DLC for the story to be fully fleshed out. And as I grew, so did the game. And to see it finally come to an end in 2021 was heart wrenching. But I think they ended it beautifully. The last update was made with a group of modders for the game. Edmund didn't even want to do another DLC, but when he saw their mod anti-birth, he knew he had to implement it into the game, and it inspired him to create more for his game. Edmund saw their vision and wanted to bring it to life. That is what a developer should be. Someone who wants to spread a vision they have, bring their creativity to life. Fuck all these triple A titles, Just fucking. Assassin's Creed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, fuck you. They're all just trying to make a fuck off of me. These indie developers who listen to their communities and make games they love and make people happy deserve so much more than mindless corporations feeding off of our want for dopamine. So yeah, I mean, I think that's why you should buy Binding of Isaac. It's pretty fucking good. Um, yeah. And I think this video is really good and you think this video is really good. So you're going to hit like and you're going to subscribe and you're going to write a nice little comment and you're going to be like, oh my God, your video is so good. And I'm going to be like, oh, I know. Thank you. And uh, yeah, man, I, I, I hope you guys have a good day or night or whatever.